Hi guys, Steph here. What have we got for you today? Well, what we've got for you is a gorgeous pen from my recent pen haul. What we have for you here is a Schaefer Snorkel Sentinel Fountain Pen. Now, for some of you people will know that the Schaefer Snorkel pens came in numerous different models, different trim, different colours, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply concentrate on this one. As I said, this is the Sentinel Fountain Pen, the Snorkel. It comes in what I call Aqua, although some people call it the Pastel Blue. It comes with this lovely chrome cap. Now, if I show you the cap, the cap has got these lines running the length, the length of the cap. And then just to the bottom there, it has a gold filled cap band built into the cap if you like. And we've got the very recognisable Schaefer clip there. And to the very top, we've got the white dot, as you can see there, just above the clip. So all in all, a stunning example. The size of this pen is 140 millimeters capped around the sort of diameter of the barrel it's 11 millimeters in diameter this one is actually made in Australia so if we show you the barrel imprint there you'll see it says um, made in Australia WA Schaefer Pen Company and then to the bottom AUST PTY Limited Okay, so as you can see, a lovely clear imprint. Now, what we've also got, if I just look over the camera to find it for you, if we look at the cap there, just above the cap band, we've also got an imprint that reads um, Schaefer's, Schaefer's Australia or AUST PTY Limited. So we've got a nice imprint on the cap as well. But all in all, a lovely, lovely example. Um, what I've done, I've actually restored the pen. I've fully serviced it. We've put a brand new point washer in the pen. We've put a brand new sack in the pen. We've put a brand new O-ring in the pen. And we've put a new uh, rubber seal to the plunger knob inside here as well so it's been fully fully serviced now let's unscrew the cap for you let's show you the pen in different angles as I say a lovely example and this is one of my favorite colors as well the the aqua or some people call it the pastel blue but a lovely lovely pen Let's take you up to the section. You can see just below the section we've got the, the metal thread. We've got this slightly ribbed section there. And we've got the very recognisable Triumph nib. It's a sort of what we term as a wrap round nib, nib there you can see. And let's just keep it nice and still for you. And the, the nib reads... 14 carat 585 and it also has obviously Schaefer to the top there this is actually what we term as a two-tone nib as I say, as it says it's a 14 carat gold nib and to the top there it has what we term as a platinum mask so a lovely two-tone triumph nib there's a lovely view of the side let's show you underneath there you can see the feed you can see the snorkel tube just inside the feed there as well now some of you people will say well how do these pens actually work well how they work is what we do we unscrew the plunger knob to the end here and if I basically you unscrew it until you hear 
a little click which so what I'll do I'll be quiet and also you'll notice the snorkel extend from the nib okay so you hear that little click so that's ready and fully extended we pull out the plunger tube we dip the snorkel into the ink and we press down in one swift movement like so also what you'll find when the pens are actually correctly serviced when you actually push down on the plunger you'll hear a hissing noise to the end here I'll be quiet again okay so hopefully you can hear the the hissing noise what that is you can see it's got a little air hole here and in effect what happens if I show you the tube you'll see it's got this sort of like a crimp to the end of the tube so once it's pressed down fully the air is pushed through the the air hole here in effect what happens is as you press down it actually squeezes the sack inside the sack protector and then once you leave it it expands let's actually show you show you how it works so we pull out the plunger we bring on our ink and I'll be quiet and hopefully we'll hear some bubbling okay I can see lots of bubbling going on there so you leave it in for a few seconds and the nice thing about these pens is that well in effect you don't need to sort of wipe them so if we screw it back all the way home there we go so the snorkel has gone back into the uh, into the feed and let's see how the pen writes so what we have is a Schaefer snorkel and as we said earlier it's a Schaefer snorkel sentinel dating the pen 1952 through to around about 1959 these pens were actually a competitor if you like to the Parker Parker 51s okay so let's carry on with our writing sample it's actually writing very nicely writing I would say with hmm I don't know maybe a fine a fine line maybe medium but writing very nicely indeed as you can see here there's no flex in these nibs they're quite a hard nib but a lovely lovely writer so there's a, a writing sample okay so as we said in full working order as you would expect when it's serviced correctly now what we're going to do let's just show you so what I'm going to do now I'm leaving sort of the the nib over the ink I'm going to extend the snorkel pull out the uh, plunger and you'll see a little bit of ink actually squirts out but I'm just going to try and empty it as much as we can first of all Okay, that will do for now and then to show you in effect how it actually works let's bring on some some water again I'm going to extend the plunger tube we're going to simply dip 
the snorkel in the water and press down in one swift movement. There we go. Leave it in for a few seconds for the water or the ink to fill the sack. And then when you actually, what you do then, obviously, as we said, we screw it back in. The snorkel retracts back into the into the feed and you're ready to go. But what we're going to do is show you. Okay, now when you're actually filling this pen, you need to leave it over the ink. Because when I pull out the plunger knob now, there you go, you'll see some ink squirts out. So you always need to leave it over the ink or the ink bottle but if I press down now firmly there we go so press down again one more time so there we go so let's f do it once again dip the snorkel in the water press down one firm Firm push, leave it in for a few seconds. Again, when we pull out the plunger knob now, leave it over the water. There you go, you'll see some water will squirt out. But if we press it down firmly now, there you go. It's like a water pistol. <laughs> okay, so. I hope that's a bit clear for you so what we'll do now we'll just simply screw it all the way home we'll pop the water to one side so hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer for you I'll carry on um, flushing the pen out after the video but just for demonstration purposes hopefully that was clear and there we have it a lovely Schaefer snorkel Sentinel from the 1950s in beautiful condition fully serviced fully working and looking for a new home i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be don't be shy subscribe to my channel as well and you don't miss you don't miss any of these videos and give the video a thumbs up please and last but not least please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now <laughs>